any good southern kitchen in the 50s and 60s, they made cheese crackers. There were no cheese nips back then. There were no Cheez-Its. Moms were making them in their kitchen. Now, you'll see they're usually called cheese straws, but they also made them in these little round medallions into crackers. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple five ingredient recipe on how to make your own cheese crackers that you can make ahead of time, keep in the refrigerator, and then just cut and bake as you need. So what I started with, I did a little of pre-work for you, is I grated one pound of sharp cheddar cheese and I combined it with two sticks of butter that are room temperature. You want everything to be nice and soft. Make sure you grate the cheese yourself and you're gonna blend that together. It's gonna make a huge mess. I'm not gonna lie to you because then you're gonna add in three cups of self-rising flour. You're using self-rising flour because you want this to have some leavening, but you don't wanna add an egg. That would make it too wet and not be so much of a cracker texture. So I've mixed that all together here. And here we go, this is what I think is so interesting. It calls for two cups of finely grated or finely chopped pecans. Well, that is very Southern. And then you're gonna wanna add a little bit of kick to your crackers. You're gonna add Tabasco or cayenne seasoning. So my group likes it a little spicy. So I'm just adding a little dash in there, just like that. And you're just gonna hand mix all this in because doing it with your mixer may not work so great. So, just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take good old fashioned wax paper. And according to the recipe from Phil's sister, Uncle Phil, you're supposed to take it just like this. See, it's a giant, it's like Play-Doh, it's cheesy Play-Doh. And you're gonna take the cheese blocks just like this and you're gonna make it into a log and roll it on wax paper and chill it. I just got done chilling our log. So this is really simple how we're gonna bake it. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees and it's gonna depend on how thick you cut your crackers. I have found that if I cut them about a quarter of an inch, you only have to bake this for about 14 minutes. You don't want to overbake them, but you don't want them to be soft like a chocolate chip cookie either. So you're kind of trying to find that happy spot. So that is going to take a little effort on your part to see how your oven works and the thickness of your crackers. So unroll your log. Again, this is a great recipe all summer long to keep in your fridge ready to go. These are just like slice and bake cookies. So the other trick I can tell you, make sure and use a long straight knife. Don't use serrated. Then all I do is just, I set them down and I got, let me think, I got four, I got 24 to a pan and all I did was just slice. And then if the edges come off, I just use my hands and I press a little bit to make it around again and just continue, pop them in the oven, bake them up and then here in a little bit, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna have dock tails and Aunt Jeannie Jean and I and everyone are gonna enjoy our crackers. See you in a minute.